I have found a super easy way to get laid. It's a secret that not very many men know about. I guess you could say it's an untapped market. <laughs> Listen up, fellas. If you're looking to get your dick wet, the easiest way to do it is to target autistic girls. <laughs> That's right. The thing about autistic girls is that they never say no. And I'm not sure if it's because they lack the confidence to say no in a social situation, but I choose to roll with the benefits and not question it because I don't want to feel guilty about it later. <laughs> the thing about autistic girls not being able to say no is that when you ask them if they are on birth control, they will say yes. Do not believe them. <laughs> they are filthy liars. And you don't want to end up at an abortion clinic with an autistic girl because everyone there will look at you in judgment knowing that you took advantage of her. It is a highly uncomfortable situation. Believe me, I know I've been there myself. <laughs> I've had sex with autistic women, but I've always wanted to fuck my way down the spectrum and stick my dick in a full-blown retarded girl. <laughs> The only thing is that those retards always have a guardian protecting them. Those retard watchers keep a strict eye on them. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the day that the guardian pulls out their phone to check the internet and I can quickly sneak away the retarded girl and have sex with her. That way I can finally hear her sweet, sweet retard moans. <laughs> I hate how hard it is to give a girl an orgasm during sex. It's like, it's not my fucking fault that your genitals were built to pleasure mine, but my genitals were not built to pleasure yours. If you're a girl and you believe in God, you should hate him because he fucked you over. <laughs> Women like to make fun of men who come fast. I say those men are responsible. We are busy dudes with shit to do. We can't waste all of our time fucking cunts like you. <laughs> I know I'm different than most guys. Some good reasons, some bad reasons. But the main reason is that when most guys look at a hot chick, they think, Damn, I really like to motorboat them titties. Or, Damn, I really like to eat that pussy. When I look at a hot chick, I think, Damn, I really like to lick that asshole. <laughs> I fully believe that some people deserve to get cancer and die from it. My grandma, for example. She's a super religious Christian, a hardcore Trump supporter. She thinks all the problems in the Middle East can be solved with a nuclear bomb. She hates gay people. And she's fat and lives an unhealthy lifestyle. She actually got cancer a couple years ago. But she survived. How is that fair? Sure, she got her boobs chopped off, but she was unfuckable before then. <laughs> In all honesty, the only person who deserves to get cancer and die from it is myself, because I'm a fucking asshole. <laughs> oh. I hate people who live such a privileged life and yet still complain about it. They say things like, Aw, I'm depressed. I have anxiety. It's like, shut your fucking mouth. Me, for example. I am a straight white male who is relatively attractive, and I have money in the bank. I grew up in one of the wealthiest and safest areas of the world, and I have the time, power, and money to create stupid videos where I say offensive things and post them on the internet for everyone to see, and I don't have to worry about my free speech being taken away. And yet, with all of that, I still feel like I need to sit in my room and listen to death metal and be angry at the world. What a spoiled, rotten piece of shit. <laughs> I am a fan of Killer Dave's Bread. If you don't know what it is, it's this guy, his name's Dave Dahl, I think, and he spent something like 14 or 15 years in jail, and then he got out and decided to make bread and sell it. What a weird life change. <laughs> Anyways, I like Killer Dave's bread. And the thing that's funny about it 
is that we happily welcome this felon's bread into our homes, and yet we won't let him vote. What's up with that? <laughs> People say that committing suicide is the most selfish thing a person can do. Fuck off. I think it's pretty goddamn selfish that you want me to keep living my horrible life just so that you can be happy. <laughs> People say it's really easy to succeed in comedy. All you have to do is write some killer jokes. Unfortunately, I don't know any murderers, so I don't have that frame of reference. <laughs> I guess you could say that that was a killer joke, though, because it just killed my career. <laughs> Republicans are known for making statements without having any facts or evidence to back them up. The reason why they do that is very simple, and it's the exact same reason as to why they believe in God. It's because they are fucking stupid. <laughs> Most people buy Girl Scout cookies because they're delicious. I buy Girl Scout cookies because I want to support my future wife. I'm going to let you guys think about that one for a moment. <laughs> one thing I like to do is make sure that I rub every single one of those dollar bills that I give to the Girl Scout girls on my balls. <laughs> you might think it's weird that I get off on that, and you might feel bad for the little Girl Scout girls, but you should feel bad for me in that joke, because if you think about it, I take this dirty, nasty money that lots of people have touched with their icky fingers, and I rub it on the very sensitive skin that is my testicles. Gross. <laughs> there are so many scams out there that pretend to be charities. They steal your money, and it doesn't go to a good cause. It's such a shame. But I have an easy way to avoid these scams. Well, it's easy for someone who's an asshole such as myself. <laughs> but the easy solution is to just don't donate to charity ever. <laughs> My grandma died recently. A different grandma than the one I mentioned before. She's still alive, unfortunately. <laughs> my good grandma died recently. It was very sad. I got the call from my uncle. He called me and he said, Your grandma died. And I was like, Oh man, that sucks. And I thought to myself, This is a really good excuse to call out of work. <laughs> I spent all day playing video games that day. Thanks, Grandma. <laughs> I don't understand why women love Planned Parenthood. I think it's a sexist organization because every time I go in there, they act like fucking assholes to me. The first time I went in there, I had a very simple question. I asked, how do I get out of paying child support? Ever since then, they've been incredibly rude to me. <laughs> Next time it comes to the voting booth, I'm going to vote to defund Planned Parenthood. A brick staircase is a better form of abortion anyways. <laughs> I've got a life hack for you guys. I like life hacks. They help me hack my life. This is a good one. Don't have anal sex with a girl who has diarrhea. <laughs> Might seem like an obvious one, but it's not obvious because girls don't always tell you when they have diarrhea. How do you find out if a girl has diarrhea? That's a good question, I don't know, but let's move on to the next part. <laughs> the reason why you don't want to have anal sex with a girl who has diarrhea is because when you stick your dick in their butthole, it creates pressure that makes the diarrhea shoot out of her butthole and hit you directly in the face. It is not a pleasant experience. <laughs> I have a math problem for you guys. It's not that hard, don't worry, this isn't math class. Let me set it up for you. When I have sex with my girlfriend, I like to pull out right before I come, and I like to ejaculate into her eye. <laughs> 
I take great pride in my ability to shoot that far and to aim so well. I have about a 10% success rate. I know that seems low, but give me a break. It's a long distance and I'm not a professional. I'm training. I'll get there one day. <laughs> Unfortunately, when I pull out and ejaculate, I run the risk of hitting myself in the eye. There's about a 3% chance that I'll hit myself in the eye with my own jizz. When you come everywhere, you run that risk, unfortunately. <laughs> so my question for you is, if there's a 10% chance of me hitting my girlfriend in the eye, and a 3% chance of me hitting myself in the eye, what are the chances that I'll get slapped in the face? <laughs> the answer to that question is 14%. 10% chance I hit my girlfriend in the eye with my jizz, she slaps me in the face. 3% chance I hit myself in the eye with my own jizz, I slap myself in the face from pain and agony. <laughs> in 1% chance my wife finds out I was sleeping with another woman, I will definitely get slapped in the face. 